Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be talking about how you can self-monitor a Honeywell L3000. Uh, that's a Honeywell uh, Lynx Plus L3000 security system. And just to show you, uh, we have an example of an L3000 uh, right here. It's not powered on and it hasn't been used in a while. Uh, this is an older security system, but it can be used with AlarmNet and Total Connect uh, 2.0 when set up properly, so self-monitoring is possible. Um, many people encounter the L3000 in various apartment complexes. Um, so sometimes we jokingly refer to it as the apartment security system. Uh, you might maybe you found one in, in, in a home you purchased. Um, or like I said, an apartment, a rental home or something. Um, you can still buy them new, uh, but they're, they're older, and uh, the touchpad, the numeric touchpad on the front of the panel, it's. Um, not as inviting as a touchscreen system, a wireless touchscreen system like a, a Honeywell Lyric or a Lynx Touch. So you don't see them too often, but if you do encounter an L3000, a Honeywell Lynx Plus, then uh, there are options for it. Uh, now, so self-monitoring means that the system is not connected uh, with a central monitoring station. It won't send signals to a central station. Um, instead, the, the end user uh, has to contact help on their own um, when they get a notification via text and or email. Um, so the way that this, this works, um, it, it's just like most Honeywell alarm systems. The L3000 is connected with um, AlarmNet, and when an event occurs on the system, an alarm event, um, it will send a signal to AlarmNet, and then AlarmNet forwards the signal to Total Connect 2.0, and then Total Connect uh, sends the signal, sends the notification to the end user via text and or email. Now the user will need to set up Total Connect 2.0 uh, notifications. They need to set up those texting email notifications so that way that the, the alerts are sent out. Uh, we have another video that talks about setting up uh, Total Connect 2.0 notifications, so refer to that if you need to set up the notifications. And like I said, uh, self-monitoring, you're not connected with a central station, so it's up to you to contact help. Um, so it's really only recommended for users who uh, can reliably respond to an incoming text and or email um, and, and request help quickly. You know, their time is of the essence when there is an emergency situation. So really, we only recommended self-monitoring if you feel comfortable doing this. Now, um, you will have to add a communicator to the Honeywell L3000 to get it um, to interface with AlarmNet and Total Connect 2.0. And so you have three options for this. Uh, the, the first two are the most popular ones by far today uh, because these are the only ones that are still available new for purchase on our website. Uh, there's the um, Honeywell LTE L3A, uh, which is an AT&T LTE communicator. And then there's the Honeywell LTE L3V, which is Verizon LTE. Um, so to use those, those are cellular communicators. So you would need a cellular monitoring plan such as an alarm grid gold plan. Uh, that's, a, that's a great one to use. Um, or in, in your case, you'd be going with the alarm grid self gold plan um, because this is self monitoring we're talking about. Um, so you would need to install that and activate that um, for monitoring service. Um, so that's, that's one way that the, uh, the L3000 can communicate with AlarmNet and therefore Total Connect 2.0, one of those LTE cellular communicators, the LTE L3A or the LTE L3V. Uh, there's also a discontinued Honeywell L, uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's discontinued. It's the Honeywell 7847i L. Honeywell 7847i L. Now, this is an IP communicator for the L3000. It's discontinued. Uh, again, you would install it and activate it uh, for monitoring service. Um, and it would, it, you, the benefit to using that one is that you wouldn't have to pay extra for cellular monitoring. Of course, cellular monitoring is more reliable. Um, cellular connectivity rarely goes down or becomes unavailable. Um, an internet outage would take your system offline if you were just relying on the uh, 7847iL. Um, that is uh, that, that communicator, it's an IP communicator, and it uses hardwired ethernet connectivity. Um, if you wanted to have it communicate with a, a router wirelessly, you could use an ethernet to Wi-Fi bridge. So that's an option. But like I said, that one's discontinued. If you happen to find a used model somewhere, um, we, we don't see many out there, but if you, if you were to find one, then that could be used for monitoring service as well. And you could then set up uh, a self-monitoring plan. So um, like I said, you need to get your L3000 set up with a communicator. So that way it's, it can communicate to AlarmNet. AlarmNet forwards the, any incoming notifications to Total Connect 2.0. And then Total Connect 2.0 alerts you uh, via text and or email. 
And um, you need to uh, set up those text and email notifications uh, to get them to be sent out. So refer to that video uh, for that uh, purpose to set up the notifications. Um, and also, just one last thing, uh, there is no automation function on the L3000. Uh, so you can't use uh, smart home devices, Z-Wave devices. Um, that, that's going to be a no-go on your L3000. There's no Z-Wave card available. So this is just strictly for monitoring service, um, self-monitoring service. It'll be up to you. So you won't be connected with a central station, but uh, you can get the text and email alerts, and then you can request help when needed. So uh, that's how you can do self-monitoring on a Honeywell L3000, uh, Honeywell Lynx Plus security system. If you have any questions about the L3000, uh, self-monitoring plans, um, or other options for alarm monitoring, such as central station service, uh, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.